And now for my second attempt at trying to make this video. Yes, the chaos theory has been strong around here. Anyway, back when I was growing up, it was pretty common for kids my age to run, play, explore, jump around, and as a consequence, we'd get dinged up a bit. Cuts, bruises, scrapes, other things like that. You get hurt, you go find somebody, they'll help you patch it up, you move on. That's how I was raised. About the time I was in middle school, I took a fair bit of skin off of one of my legs. I was running along, took a tumble, and the abrasive factor of what I landed on did what it does. I just kind of decided, go ahead, take care of it myself. At the time, there was a type of antiseptic that had just hit the market, it came in a squeeze bottle. So what I would do is about two, three times a day, grab the squeeze bottle, squirt a bunch of the antiseptic onto the wound, and just basically did that to clean it out, tend to it, off I'd go. There was, unfortunately, something about that I didn't quite figure on. The antiseptic was pretty powerful, and since it was in a squeeze bottle, I was not measuring how much I was using at a time. The end result? Yeah, it killed the bacteria, but it also started taking out the tissue. And meaning that what I was trying to do in the belief that I was helping the injury was just making it worse. It ended up being a rather large, rather nasty scab. It was a bit bigger than your average pink eraser, the type you'd use at school same color as your average glass of red wine. Pretty nasty thing. Finally, I decided something had to be done. So, I very slowly, very carefully, very painfully ripped the scab off. Every last bit I tore off all at once, one piece at a time. With the scab gone, I moved that liquid antiseptic aside, reached for the bottle of peroxide. The peroxide I had to use one cap at a time, and that's what I did. One cap at a time, let it clean up the injury site, be very careful tending to it, be very careful observing it, and let nature take its course. That is ultimately what was needed for it to heal. And even then, because of what I did the first time around, I've still got a scar on my leg. It's a patch where not even hair will grow. If it's dark and you catch it in just the right light, the light will actually reflect off of it, I kid you not. So why am I talking about this? Seems like every other day, somebody wants some statue taken down. Somebody wants some building or facility renamed. Somebody wants this, somebody wants that, somebody wants a word band. Somebody wants some mascot character removed, something like that. Whatever it is, they've decided that it is offensive, that it harkens back to something they don't want to have to deal with. And rather than deal with it, they just want it gone, removed, ripped out. End of questioning. It's got to be gone. They just don't want to see it anymore. On one hand, 
you can kind of understand where they're coming from. They think that whatever it is, is memorializing something that they don't like. On the other hand, essentially what they're proposing is what I did with that bit on my leg. They're trying to just go through, scorch earth, whatever they don't like, in the belief that that's what it'll take for things to heal. Problem is, they're just making it worse. They're forcing very angry and very irate conversations to happen. And those con irate and angry conversations are giving way to arguments. Arguments are giving way to yelling, screaming, cursing, fighting. Is it any wonder then that we're starting to see people getting seriously hurt and even fatalities now? And what's happening? A lot of the symbols that they want gone because they say are hurting people are now coming back in full force as a sign of protest against. So in many ways, this rush, rush to just jettison anything and everything people don't like, be it something from the past, someone or something from the present, it's just making things worse. It's causing the situation to deteriorate instead of get better. So what should be done then? How about the slow and steady approach? If you don't like something, reasonably state your case to the powers that be. Peaceably convince your friends, convince your neighbors, Maybe win some of them over. Use words and logic and reason to convince people that, okay, maybe something needs to happen. If you can do that, you can be reasonable, you can talk with people, then you can slowly, gradually, step by step, get people behind you in making the change you want to have made. If people get behind you, you can reasonably and politely petition to have that change made. If you say you want a statue taken down, if you convince whoever put it up to take it down, that's one thing. You just go out there in the middle of the night with an SUV and some tow cables. How does that make you any better? It doesn't. All you're doing is you're giving the other side a reason to be mad and a reason to argue in favor of keeping everything else up. So just take a few minutes. Be gentle. Be kind, be measured, be wise. Let nature take its course. Is that so hard to ask? Catch you all later.